to the conversation. I am still talking about the advanced readers copies that I got from NetGalley. And the first book that I want to talk about is Foe by Ian Reed. I'd never heard of the author. I didn't know what he had written. And apparently he wrote another book that has people depressed. Their comments about how they felt about this book were so overwhelming and intense. I guess this is how this author writes. If you have heard anything from my videos before, I love finding new books, finding new voices, even if they're really popular, but I haven't heard of them before. That's the jam. That is where you will find me. I found Fo to be a really quick read. The story starts out with a couple in the middle of North America somewhere, Canada, the US. I don't remember, but middle North America somewhere. They live in relative solitude. One day, a car drives up to their house and a man jumps out and he's got a case and he comes and rings the doorbell. And the dude's like, hmm, let me open the door and find out what it is that he wants. And so they sit down and they have a conversation with this guy and he gives them information that will change their lives. You, sir, have been selected to go and live in space. And he was like, dude, me? How did you find me? Oh, you've been on online forums and this is what you've been doing and so on and so forth. And we decided that you'd be a great candidate for this brand spanking new base program. So they sit and they listen to him. And as the guy is talking, his wife is very uncomfortable. And you're wondering, she seems to be more comfortable with the guy who walked through the door. You're thinking infidelity or something. Anyway, so the guy spends three years preparing this couple to take the man into space. He has to come in, have conversations with him about you know, what's going on in his head. They have lots of questionnaires for him. And it's three years of this. Three years of answering questionnaires. Will their marriage survive this environment where the man has been chosen to go to space? Is this guy for real questionnaires? I think there's more to preparing to go to space than questionnaires. What about physical stuff anyway? Is it because he lives on a farm? Is that the position that they're taking, you know, so he must be a mus muscular guy who's like, oh, is hacking away at some piece. That is what the book is primarily about, preparing this man to go and live in outer space. This book was a quick read because I was just dying to know what happens next. The other thing that I was so curious about is what is happening with the wife and the salesperson guy who has come to tell him about going into space. What is going on? One of the things that happened in this book also was foreshadowing that was done really, really well. My sixth sense was prickling. He did a very, very good job of prickling my sixth sense and going, oh my God, things are weird and we need to figure out why. And I couldn't put down the book because I needed to know, are my suspicions correct? And it wasn't so much the things that he said rather than how they were said. I don't know if that makes any sense. For instance, you know when a conversation between two couples is heading them towards divorce rather than them actually saying and talking about divorce and separation. It was so gratifying to find out that I wasn't crazy. It was unlike anything I had ever, ever read. There is a twist at the end of this book. If you fast forward and you read the end of the book before you've gone through the entire book you won't get but when you read it oh my god it was heartbreaking the first thing was that a lot of technical stuff that just didn't move the story forward was included when the salesman was trying to talk about the reason why this process was going like that and why he needed to ask these particular questions and it felt very mansplainy like is it because they thought these people from middle north america didn't really understand how regular life works or that they don't follow the news or something anyway it was just really really <sighs> it was like sucking sludge through a tiny little straw that loop-de-loops you know like those children's straws that is what it felt like and wasn't very enjoyable you're giving me some kind of crazy background information about the company that's putting people in space Nah, not really interested in all of that that can just stay in your series bible which is a note to me 
to remember. You will love this book if you think that you might be interested in science fiction. Also, if you enjoy a quick and speedy read, I found that to be the case for me. I got into it, it had me hooked, I had to know. Or maybe it wasn't quick and easy, I just neglected all my chores in order to finish the book, which is the most likely solution of this. Also, if you are curious about the state of our technology right now and some of the things that may happen to us in the near future, this might be an interesting take for you, an interesting foray into the future of technology. And also, if you enjoy watching people navigate their lives, navigate their marriages, struggle with spouses to make their marriages stronger, this would be an interesting read for you. Overall, I gave this book four out of five stars simply because that mansplaining thing was like dotted everywhere and I just like, I can't do it. Okay, so that was faux. I have another book that I want to share with you. So subscribe and come back. We're going to be talking about book number two.